There are many treating equipment options available today. And the purpose of this video is to help you to understand the various components of each treating system. The goal of every seed treatment applicator is to get a consistent flow of seed through the treater while applying the correct amount of product to each seed. Seed flow is measured in two ways. The first is volumetric, using a seed wheel, which is a rotating wheel that captures a certain volume of seed in pockets over a given time, based on seed density and the rotation speed of the wheel. The second way to measure seed flow utilizes the loss in weight scale, which measures seed flow by using a scale to weigh the mass of seed entering the treater over a measured period of time. The second half of the seed treatment equation relates to chemical metering systems, which dose and apply the seed treatment product. The seed treatment pump stand dispenses product from liquid containers and can be equipped with several metering options. The volumetric flow meter measures the volume of product traveling through the pump during a given time. The mass flow meter is similar to the volumetric flow meter but it makes application adjustments based on product density or weight per volume. The third flow meter technology is loss in weight, which uses scales and measures the difference of liquid mass over a period of time as product is removed from the scale. A pump stand can have one or more of these meters to make sure every application is accurate regardless of what seed is being treated. Based on customer needs, pump stands can be custom designed the most common available options are mixing tanks, made of either stainless steel or polyurethane, and they can have either a conical or a flat bottom. Product stands can also be plug and play, where the treatment is directly injected or pumped from a keg. To help you better visualize the entire process, we'll use a seed wheel system, so you can follow the flow of seed as it is treated. As seed flows through the seed wheel, it goes to the primary application chamber, where the seed treatment product drips onto the atomizer spinning disc, transforming the liquid into a fine mist that uniformly coats each seed. The seed then drops into the secondary mixing drum, where it is tumbled to finalize and perfect the coating process. Dry additives can also be applied in the secondary drum. Once the treated seed exits the drum, the process is complete and it's ready to be delivered to the farm. Regardless of the seed treatment technology used, the goal is the same, to get a consistent flow and accurate dosing, resulting in the best seed treatment protection possible.